Hello guys, we are back with another interview problem that is find an extra element in two almost similar arrays. Okay, so given two arrays where the second array has all the elements from the first array and one extra element. Okay, and we have to find that extra element. So let's take a few examples. So here we have array A and B. A has one, four, two, five, seven. And array B has one, two, four, one, seven, five. So we can see one, four, two, five, seven. So we have one extra element, which is one. So our output would be one. Okay. Another example is one, eight, two, zero, one, eight, four, two, zero. So here the extra element is four. Okay. So let's solve this problem. So first approach would be to use a dictionary or map. So we like read the array A and construct the map. Okay, and in the map, uh, the key would be the element itself, and uh, value would be the number of times that element appears in the array A. Okay, so that will be count. Okay, so now if you iterate array A, uh, we'll construct the map. So one appears one time, so that is count. Two appears one time. 4 appears 2 times, right? And 5 and 7 appears 1 time. Okay. So next, we like read the array B. And for each element in array B, we look into the map. Okay. And now there are two cases. Either the element is present in the map or it's not present in the map. So if element is not present in the map, that means that element is the extra element, okay? And if the element is present in the map, we'll reduce the count by one, okay? And uh, let's say if element is present in the map and if the count is already zero, that means that element is an extra element. So let's uh, iterate the array B. So first element is one. So we have entry for one. So we'll reduce the count to zero, right? Now next element is five. So we'll uh, reduce the count of five to zero. Now next element is four. So we'll reduce the count, which is two. Now we will reduce it to one, okay? Now next element is seven. So seven, uh, reduce the count to zero and one. Now for one, the element is present, but the count is already zero. That means, this one is an extra element. So we'll return this. So this will be our answer in this case. Let's take another example. So let's say we have one, two, three, and one, two, three, and four, right? So this is array A and this is B. So A, let's construct the uh, map. So one appears one time, two appears, one time, three appears, one time. Now we'll iterate the array B and start reducing the count. So first element is one, so we'll reduce it to zero, two, reduce it to zero, three, reduce it to zero, four, four is not present in the map. So this is the extra element in array B, okay? So in this approach, we are using uh, extra space. So our space complexity, right, space complexity would be O of N and time complexity would be O of N, okay? Because we are iterating the array only once and we are constructing a map. So space and time complexity, both will be O of N, okay? So now we will discuss the better approach than this where the time complexity will be O of N and space complexity will be O of one. So let's say array A is 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 4, and array B is 2, 4, 1, 5, 7, 4, 1, okay? So here we can see that extra element is 1, okay? And uh, to solve this problem, now we'll use the ZOR property, okay? What is the ZOR property? A ZOR A is 0, okay? So we'll use this property. So what we'll do, we'll take the ZOR of all the elements in array A and array B, okay? So one, zor two, four, five, seven, four, and then array B, so two, four, uh, one, five, seven, five, 
7, 4, and 1. Okay, so uh, 1, zor 1, so this becomes 0. So 2, zor 2, that becomes 0. So 4, zor 4, that becomes 0. And this 4 and this 4 becomes 0. 5, zor 5 becomes 0. And 7, zor 7 becomes 0. So what is the remaining element? 1. So if we do zor A, zor B, that is all the elements from array A and array B would be 1, which is the extra element. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. Okay, solution. So various approaches can be employed to solve this problem. However, efficient solution involves utilizing the ZOR operation. Okay, ZOR, also known as exclusive OR, is a logical operation that returns true only when the offerings are different. Okay. By exploiting this property, we can easily identify the extra element in the array. Remember, a is or a is zero. Okay, so let's go through the steps. Initialize a variable called result and initialize it to zero. Iterate through each element in the both arrays simultaneously. Perform the ZOR operation between the current elements from a and b. Update the results. Update the result variable by zoring with the current ZOR result, okay? Once the iteration is complete, the result variable will contain the extra element. So let's look at the code. Uh, first, look at the Java code. Um, so here we have a function, right? And it takes uh, array A and array B as input, and we have a variable called extra element, okay? And what we'll do, first we'll iterate the array A and do the ZOR of all the elements, store it in this variable. And then we'll do the same for array B. Once we are done with these two, the extra element, this variable, will have the extra element, which is in array B. Okay. So here we have 3, 4, 5, 2, 9, 6, and 4, 3, 2, 9, 5, 7, 6. Right. So here extra element is 7. You can click here uh, to run this code. Uh, let's look at the Python code as well. So extra element, this is our function, and do the ZOR for all the elements in array, and, array A and array B, and print the extra element, okay? So yeah, this is how we'll solve this problem. And now we'll mark this problem as completed. And uh, please visit our website, tutorialhorizon.com for more interview problems. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.